हेलो एवरीवन आई एम शैला का देश पांडे वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो आवर टुडे टॉपिक इज ऑसिलेटर यूनिट इन एट जीरो फाइव वन ओके नाउ सी ऑसिलेटर यूनिट व्हाई इट इज यूज्ड एंड व्हाई इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी टुडे सो ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट वेन एवर वी इम्पार्ट इंटेलिजेंस टू माइक्रो कंट्रोलर दैट इज वेन एवर वी अपलोड एनी कोड इन द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर रॉम ओके वेन दैट कोड इज स्टोर इन रॉम एंड वेन द कोड एक्जीक्यूट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर बिहेव अकॉर्डिंगली ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू द कोड सो द प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूशन और एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ अ कोड इज डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द क्लॉक सिग्नल ओके मीन्स इफ क्लॉक फ्रिक्वेंसी इज हाई द प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूशन विल बी फास्ट इफ द क्लॉक फ्रिक्वेंसी इज लो प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूशन विल बी स्लो sorry so basically this oscillator unit is responsible for generating the clock signals okay it generates the clock signals oscillator unit and in 8051 microcontroller this oscillator unit is inbuilt it is inside the microcontroller chip you don't have to connect the circuit externally the chip the oscillator unit circuit is inbuilt inside the microcontroller 8051 okay fine now how does this uh, oscillator unit provides external interface let's see that can you see these pins xtel1 pin number 18 xtel2 pin number uh, 19 so these two are a pins which are used to provide external interface okay so oscillator unit inside the 8051 provides an external interface through xtel1 and xtel2 pins okay and uh, it is not enough the internal oscillator circuit inside 8051 is not enough we will require for some external component and that external component is ceramic crystal resonator this ceramic crystal resonator is a external component which is required okay to complete its functioning now what exactly happens is this ceramic crystal resonator is uh, connected across xtel1 and xtel2 pins along with the two capacitors of 22 picofarad okay so these are the connections okay so uh, after uh, connecting this the clock signal uh, this ceramic crystal resonator the clock signal is generated by oscillator unit so only one external component is required ceramic crystal resonator okay now uh, the next part is there are two types of 8051 microcontroller the complementary metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor okay whereas in the case of nmos type 8051 microcontroller we are having the mosfet which is of the type n type semiconductor field effect transistor okay so now what is mosfet what is its working How, what do you mean by mosfet and all those questions you must be getting so if you want to get into detail of the construction and working of the mosfet you can refer basic electronic books okay or uh, uh, edc books okay here we are concerned with embedded systems so i will talk only related with the concepts of embedded systems okay so let's uh, see the difference between the two two types of microcontrollers so uh, 8051 uh, cmos type 8051 now assume that oscillator circuit is not inside the microcontroller it is external oscillator circuitry is external if it is the case output of that external oscillator is connected to xtel1 pin of cmos type 8051 and this xtel2 pin is unconnected we don't make any connection there it is left as it is okay this was about the cmos type 8051 microcontroller now we will see nmos type 8051 microcontroller so as i told you according to the microcontroller the connections are different type of microcontroller is important before connecting okay oscillator unit so oscillator unit connection in nmos type 8051 how it is done output of the oscillator unit is connected to pin xtel2 and this pin xtel1 is grounded it is grounded okay so these were the connections for cmos type 8051 and nmos type 8051 okay 
so uh, in this manner we have covered the uh, your uh, clock signals and oscillator unit in the 8051 micro microcontroller okay if your basic electronics components are uh, clear okay it is it will be very cake walk for you to understand it so uh before uh, i would suggest you that before uh, getting into the theory and concepts of embedded system you should refer the basic electronic books okay so this was all about the uh, 8051 microcontroller oscillator unit so i hope you like the video if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section below please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching bye bye